if, if you try and go, oh, it's quite heavy that Sorry. sack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What is it? This, is, this is an antique, you mustn't put that in an antique. It's the first plastic pneumatic wheel ever made. And I, I realised I wanted to do something more personal. I wanted to do a product that everybody uses every day in the home. And we were living in a, and doing up a farmhouse. Deirdre and I had to do a lot of work ourselves. And we used wheelbarrows. And wheelbarrows got stuck in the mud. The sharp edges of the metal damaged door frames and your knees. And cement stuck to it. So I thought there must be a better way to do a wheelbarrow than this. So I left the security and comfort of a, a salary, uh, and Deirdre and I decided to set off on our own with our own business. Risky thing to do. When I was five, across the drive, there was a sort of alcove in a barn stuffed with orange balls and smelling the soapy plastic. Pretty popular with children, because you could, children could sit in it and be given rides and tipped out without damaging them in any way. There's no sharp metal bits. It has a, a bar at the front so you can tip out very easily and cement doesn't stick to it because there's no known adhesive for polythene. When I first made it, we tried selling it direct to garden centres. They all just laughed at it. They thought the ball was a joke. So I turned to advertising directly in the newspapers and we used to take little advertisements about that big. Uh, and actually people bought it. We got about 50% of the market, but it, I still couldn't make any money out of it. I charged too little. <laughs> what I learned from the ball barrier experience, which was not very happy, it wasn't a family business, it wasn't owned by Deirdre and I. We had some shares in it, but then other investors had shares in it. And the thing I learned from that is that it's much better to not have outside investors and to be able to do what you want to do without worrying about what other people think. And if you're going to fail at something, it's better to fail because your idea was wrong than fail because someone else's idea was wrong. That's no fun.